بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحاقة ما الحاقة وما دراك ما الحاقة The inevitable What is the inevitable and what will make you realize what the inevitable is? The people of Samud and Ad denied the striking hour of judgment. As for Samud, they were destroyed by the awful cry and as for Ad, they were destroyed by a furious violent wind which Allah imposed on them for seven nights and eight days in succession, so that you could see men lying overthrown as if they were hollow trunks of date palms. Do you then see any remnants of them? And Fir'aun and those before him and the cities overthrown, and they disobeyed their Lord's messenger, so he seized them with a strong punishment. Indeed, when the water rose beyond its limits, we carried you in the floating ship, that we might make it an admonition for you, and that it might be retained by the retaining ears. فَإِذَا نُفِخَ فِي السُّورِ نَفْقَةٌ وَاحِدًا Then when the trumpet will be blown with one blowing, and the earth and the mountains shall be removed from their places, and crushed with a single crushing. Then on that day shall the great event befall, and the heaven will be rent asunder, for that day it will be frail and torn up, and the angels will be on its sides, and eight angels will that day, Bear the throne of your Lord above them. Yawmaidin tu'aradun. That day shall you all be brought to judgment. La taqfa minkum khafiya. Not a secret of you will be hidden. As we read in Surah Zumar, Ashshakati l'ardu binuri rabbiha. The earth will be illuminated by the light of its Lord. No place to hide. No dark corners that we can skulk and hope that, Oh Allah won't see me here. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِ فَيَقُولُ هَا أُمْقَرَأُوا كِتَابِيَا Then as for him, who will be given his record in his right hand, he will say, Here, read my record. إِنِّي ظَنَمْتُ أَنِّي مُلَاقٍ حِسَابِيَا Surely I did believe that I would meet my Lord. The student who knows he's done his best, the student who studied his hardest, look at the calm confidence with which this person will receive his record. That I knew that I would meet my Lord, so I prepared for it. So he shall be in a life well pleasing, fi jannatin aliya, in a lofty paradise. Qutu fuhadaniya, the fruits and bunches whereof will be low and near at hand. See the low fruits symbolizing this person's humility. Not that he was arrogant in the world that well Allah knows how much I'm doing for him. No, he was humble. And so he will be told, Eat and drink at ease for that which you have sent on before you in days past. In other words, you brought some deeds that have made you attain this Jannah. وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ And as for he who will be given his record in his left hand. فَيَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ لَمْ أُوْتَ كِتَابِيَا وَلَمْ أَقْرِ مَا حِسَابِيَا يَا لَيْتَهَا كَانَتِ الْقَابِيَا Him who will be given his record in his left hand. He will say, I wish that I had not been given my record. Like a student who sees the report and realizes he's failed. No promotion. What does he say? He wishes he could burn the report. But he needn't show it to his parents. So this person will say, I wish that I had not been given my record. And that I had never known what my account is. Ya laytaha kanatil qadiya. If only that death had been my end. Now this is frightening. All of us long for immortality. None of us can bear the thought of dying. See, why is all this important emphasis on cloning? So that in some way, some part of you is living on. And on that day, this person will say, I wish that death had been the end. Nothing more after death. My wealth has not helped me. My power has gone from me. Sultania is not just power, it's not just authority, it's arguments. People have come up with endless arguments to rationalize their disobeying Allah. You know, if you attend parties and you hear the endless discussions, you know, why has Islam allowed a man to marry up to four wives? And why is it that Islam discriminates against women? And why is it that the testimony of two women is equal to one? And Islam is not practical. And now I'll just explain to Allah, it's more important that you serve mankind. You know, salat is not that important. Halaka anni sultania. All those glib arguments that he prepared. 
all those phony excuses, all those eloquent arguments, those speeches against Islam, they will all desert this person. Seize him and fetter him. Not that you'll be told, well, think about it, and because you didn't have time to think about it, you'll be left alone. No, seize him and chain him. Then throw him into the blazing fire. Then fasten him with a chain. Where of the length is 70 cubits? Why? إِنَّهُ كَانَ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ He did not believe in Allah the most exalted. When we deny Allah, that's not something light. It's not a joke. Like people generally say, well, why is it that disbelievers, you know, so what if they don't believe in Allah and they serve humanity? In Allah's eyes, this is the greatest crime. إِنَّهُ كَانَ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ الْعَظِيمِ He did not believe in Allah the most exalted. وَلَا يَحُدُّ عَلَى طُعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ And he used to not urge on the feeding of the poor, cheating Allah's rights and people's rights. فَلَيْسَ لَهُ الْيَوْمَ هَا هُنَا حَمِيمٌ So no friend has he here this day. All those hangers on, all those people who used to flatter him because of his wealth, all will desert him. Nor any food except filth from the washing of wounds. لَا يَأْكُلُهُ إِلَّا الْخَاطِئُونَ None will eat this except the sinners. So I swear by whatsoever you see, and by whatsoever you do not see, إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ That this Qur'an is the word of an honored messenger. It is not the word of a poet. Little is it that you believe. Nor is it the word of a soothsayer. Little is it that you remember. Why is poetry and this soothsayer mentioned over here? We read poetry for mental peace. And for mental stimulation. But after reading that poem, you put it away. You don't start acting upon it. It doesn't change your life. So in the same way, if we're reading the Quran just for intellectual stimulation and just for that few moments of spiritual ecstasy, and we're not planning to act upon it, then the Quran will not help us. Allah says it's not poetry that you read it and you enjoy it. And you say, subhanallah, and you go home and do whatever you were doing. Little is it that you believe. It's not the word of a soothsayer that you read the Quran and say, you know, it's amazing and all the predictions the Quran has made about science are coming true. And you restrict your understanding of the Quran just to scientific proofs and just to predictions that now have come true. قَلِيلًا مَا تَذَكَّرُونَ Allah says, you're so shallow. Little is it that you take heed. What is this Quran above all? هُدًا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ It's guidance. It's a code book on how to live our life. In every aspect, in every sphere, not something that we treat as an intellectual enjoyment. This is the revelation sent down from Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of the world. And if he had forged a false saying concerning us, we would surely have seized him by his right hand, and then we would have cut off his life artery, and none of you could have withheld us from punishing him. Not that now, Zubillah, the Prophet wasallam even contemplated doing such a thing. Allah uses these forceful words to remind us that this Qur'an is from Allah and Allah alone. وَإِنَّهُ لَتَذْكِرَةٌ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ And it is a reminder for the Allah conscious. People say, oh, I read the Qur'an and it didn't change me at all. That's because they didn't have taqwa. We want the Qur'an to change us. We need to inculcate this quality of Allah consciousness within us. And indeed, we know there are some among you that deny this Qur'an. Either by words or by actions. وَإِنَّهُ لَحَسْرَةٌ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ And indeed it will be an anguish for the disbelievers. What are we told by the Prophet ﷺ? الْقُرْآنُ حُجَّةٌ لَكْ أَوْ عَلَيْكَ The Qur'an will either be an argument for you or against you. And indeed this Qur'an is an absolute truth with certainty. For whom will it be an argument in their favor? For those who act upon it. For those who fulfill its rights. And as for those who just read it and then don't bother to act upon it, then it will intercede against them. فَصَبِّحْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ So glorify the name of your Lord, the most exalted. سُبْحَانَ رَبِّيَ الْعَظِيمِ Turn to Allah, He's never far away. Put your trust in Him, raise your hands and pray. Oh ya Allah. Guide my steps, don't let me go astray You're the only one who can show me the